Stampers, this is Kathleen. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I wanted to show you this really pretty card that I made using the uh, Art Gallery stamp set. You will find that in the current January to June 2021 mini catalog from Stampin' Up! The uh, all of the um, information that's included in this suite starts on page 32, 33, and 34 of that catalog. And what we're going to be using today are the art gallery stamps, and I'm going to be using the um, floral gallery dies that coordinate with it. Um, such a beautiful stamp set. I was so excited when I opened up the catalog and saw this. I just I love floral stamps. I'm I just I don't know what to tell you. Love them. Go through my catalog or go through my stamp collection and I have a gazillion flower stamps. Yet every time new ones come out, I'm first in line to order them. This suite is so lovely. It's just got a lot of really great items with it that I'm sure that you would really enjoy as much as I do. And the other thing that we're going to be using today is this um Paint it, oh, excuse me, this uh, fine art. <laughs> See if I can tell you what it is, duh. It's the Golden Garden Designer Specialty Acetate Paper that is really, really pretty. And several of these pages will lay right on top of the Designer Series paper as an overlay, and they exactly match the images on the Designer Series paper, so it's really, really beautiful. But we're just going to use that paper today as a, as a just as a backdrop. And you'll see one side of the paper is silver and the other side of the paper is gold. And I decided to use the silver side. And every time that Stampin' Up! does a printed acetate with gold on one side and silver on the other, the silver side of the acetate has a thin film that's on it. And all I do is put a little piece of tape in the corner and it will peel off that film. Um, you could leave it on if you wanted. I've just always taken it off. And um, it's just a reminder to let you know that there is a film that's on it. And what I decided to do was to lay the acetate on top of a piece of gold, of silver foil paper. And I think it just really adds to this textured look in the background really really pretty so let's get started well the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take a piece of our new basic white cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the flowers and I'm going to use the blushing bride ink and the first layer is going to be tapped off and then the second layer that goes on top to create this two-step look here the second layer I'm going to use full strength and then after we've everything has been stamped we'll die cut the images using the coordinating die set okay so go ahead and we'll stamp oops has to be tapped off and we'll stamp that down good firm pressure then we'll go back with the overlay image and this is the one that we're going to do full strength so let me get above my image here so that I can see where I'm stamping. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to. Hopefully. Not bad. Okay. So that's what we're going to do with that. And then I'm going to use the Rococo Rose ink. And I'm going to stamp the small center to the flower. and that just goes right there okay now while we're at it um well let me go ahead and i'll stamp the base of the flower first and so then we have the stem and the leaves and i'm going to use our just jade ink to stamp that up and that's full strength okay now I also want to stamp for the inside of my card. Um, I think it's really important to always stamp the inside of your card. I never used to do that and I had it pointed out to me. And once I started stamping 
the inside. I just think it really makes a more complete card. It doesn't take that much time, and I think it's really beautiful. So now we'll go ahead and we'll stamp the inside of our card. So we're just gonna repeat the same thing. We'll use the same images. So we'll start with the Blushing Bride and remembering to tap that off. Okay, and then we'll stamp the overlay image in the full strength of the Blushing Bride. Okay, and then we'll stamp the center of the petal, and again, that's in the Rococo Rose. close these up before I stick my hand on them. And then finally we'll do the stem and the leaves in the Just Jade. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean all my stamps off. And I'm using our Simply Sham uh, chamois. Um, it's awesome. Um, for years and years I used our regular Stampin' Scrub and loved it. And when I switched over to this I've been really really happy. One of the things that's so nice about it is I'm no longer using um, stamp cleaner. I'm just using water. And it must be the texture of the sponge but it cleans everything off. You can see it just cleans them off perfectly with just water, which is really nice. And all I do is store them in one of our stamp cases. And you can see that they're getting really stained, but when I go in and I rinse them out, the extra ink that's absorbed just washes right out. And then I just store it in my case and it works great. I've not had any problem with them getting moldy. Uh, I haven't had any problem with them at all. So it might be something that you could be interested in. So now what I would do is I would take this over to my die cutting machine and I would die cut them out. And to save a little time, I've already done that. So here's my image of my flower and my leaf. And then I also stamped the happy birthday and die cut that. So we can go ahead and put our card together. I hope you're enjoying the video and I really appreciate you coming to visit and watch it. If you are currently a subscriber, thank you so very much. If you're not, I wish you would take the time and subscribe. Then you will be notified every time I post a new video and, and you can come back and see some more and I would just really like that. I also would be great if you could take a moment to stop on by my blog at KathleenStamps.com and check out what I've got going on on my blog. And um, the other thing that's really nice is at my blog you're going to find the dimensions of all of the card stock. And so if you want to copy this card exactly, you would be able to see the, the supplies that I used and the card stock and the dimensions of everything. And sometimes I find that's really helpful to know that. You go, you see a card that you fall in love with on Pinterest or on a YouTube channel, and you're like, what the heck size did she make that? And this is the way you could find out. Now, the acetate, I want to go ahead and adhere this to my card, but adhesive will be seen behind it. So what I'm going to do is you notice that my... Um, floral image is in the center so I'm just going to apply a little bit of adhesive right behind this area and that will hold it down you won't need anything more than that so I'll just put that right there on the back and we'll just put that right down on top of the silver foil and by putting that adhesive oh gosh my light is just right on there. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Okay, new light. I'm having to kind of figure out how to use it and get it so it's not quite so glaring on everything. So that's here we go. 
So now what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my stem on and I'm going to use our Tombow multi-purpose glue for this and it doesn't take a lot it's really a good glue I like this Tombow adhesive have you ever gone and put your adhesive down and you're just have totally overloaded it with adhesive and you know that as soon as you put it down it's going to just smudge and smear everywhere well what you can do is you can take a scrap piece of paper and just tap it on to the scrap and that will take off all the extra and then it will adhere much better okay so we'll go ahead and put that down and then we'll put down our flower And then for the birthday, what I use, I used our regular dimensionals on the flower. And for the birthday, I used our little mini dimensionals. And we'll just put that right here on the bottom of the card. Get it down there so that it's straight. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is add a few of the um, rhinestones, if I can find my paper picker, here it is. We'll add a few rhinestones to give a little bit of interest. I'm going to put one on each side of the sentiment. Pull this one over a little bit. Get one down perfect, you know and then the next one is not. Hopefully you can move them. All right, and then we'll put three on the flower. And these are just our Stampin' Up! basic rhinestones. I just love rhinestones and use them all the time. Okay, and now, of course, I'm going to put down a little bit of Wink Stella. Just make sure that that's juicy and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of Wink of Stella on my card I do hope you're enjoying today's video and you're finding it informative um, I would love it if you would take time to leave me a comment and to subscribe if you haven't already it just means a lot to me when I go out and I read your positive uplifting comments I it just it's really just touches my heart and I really do appreciate them I read every one of them and I do respond and you know I figure if you can take the time to leave me a comment I can take the time to respond to you so let's go ahead and put in the inside And we'll mount that right here. Make sure that it's straight. Okay, and there's there is our finished card. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, bye.